Jim Edwards here, joined by Unlar Nasang ahead of One A New Era, which goes ahead on Sunday evening. Um, Unlar, before we begin, uh, I just want to tell you that uh, you've been nominated for Fighter of the Year for the World MMA Awards, which will take place in July, so congratulations. Yay! You wanna, there you go. Woo! Do you want to have a quick close with that? Um, you've also been uh, nominated for International Fighter of the Year as well, so you'll be up for two categories. So, um, first of all, congratulations for that. It comes off the back of a great 2018 for you. Um, you're going to be rematching Ken Hazagawa this weekend. Uh, what an absolute war it was the first time around. What, what adjustments have you made going into this rematch? Um, you know, I've watched the last fight, you know, many times. Um, he has a very unorthodox, you know, stance, very unorthodox guard. He moves out and in very well, you know. So I've I've made adjustments to that. I've made uh, you know different shots to throw in the in the instances, uh, you know. And um, for this fight, I'll be putting on a lot of pressure. You know, when, when you look back at 2018, you obviously became a double weight world champion. Um, you know, how, how are you going to go about defending both those titles? Is that something you want to do? Like you oh. fight again at middleweight again this weekend? Yeah, for sure. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna move back up and uh, defend my light heavyweight belt after this. Uh, that's a plan. You know, uh, I don't I don't plan on uh, I don't plan on holding any division down. I, I want to you know either I'm, I want to defend both belts or I'm gonna vacate it. You fought three times last year. Uh, you know, and one of them, as you were just saying, there was a very, very tough fight. Like, how do you feel coming to this? Do you feel 100%? I feel great, you know. Uh, I feel the best that I've ever felt athletically. Uh, I feel good, you know. I've uh, put on some uh, extra mass because I thought I was going to be moving up a weight. Um, so, firepower and horsepower, I got a lot more than that, you know, than my last fight. How long was the camp this time? Obviously, uh, 12 weeks. 12 weeks. Yeah, it was a long camp, yeah. Well, was there a reason for that? Was it a bit longer than usual? Yeah, just just because, uh, so so I took a month uh, going to, uh, to to my hometown, you know, Michina, to, to train some kids, uh, to meet families, and um, and during that time, all I did was lift weights, you know, gain, gain a lot of weight. So when I was coming back, I, I had to make sure I was prepared. Since this is in Japan, and it's a historic like event with so many great fighters, with so many great fighters, I want to stick. I want to stand out. So I, I made sure I had a great camp. Back in Myanmar, you're you're seen as a god. Uh, obviously, no, where the the pictures are incredible. Where every time you go back there, I'm sure uh, a lot of the people will ask you. You know, how do they achieve success like you have in the, your professional career? What, what's kind of the message you you, you send pe to people back home? Yeah, you know, work hard, uh, d don't quit. You know, it's like um, kind of cliche saying, but if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. You know, and if you want to make a change, you got to do it yourself. So that's the message I want to tell. Um, and, and like a lot of you know Burmese people, they, they kind of look around and they say, you know, I could never do that, you know, because I'm because uh, I'm from here. But that's not true. You know, that's what I want to. That's the message that I want to show them. Do, do you feel the pressure at all? Obviously, there's a lot of people back home watching you. And you're in a massive event this Sunday as well. Do, do you ever feel the, the weight of the world on your shoulders? For sure. You know, you you feel that pressure, but. Um, but but the thing is, you know, I, I I trained well for this, you know, I prepared very well for this, so the pressure the pressure was during the training camp, not now. Now I feel great. There's no pressure at all. You're obviously being recognised now, Fighter of the Year, International Fighter of the, of the Year nominations. Um, you know, t tell me, how much does it mean for you to be recognised in the World MMA Awards? Yeah. As I say, going down this July. Yeah, I mean, uh, it means a lot. You know, since this is this is everything that I do now. You know, I don't do anything else. So this means a lot. This is my job. This is what I. This is my hobby. This is my uh, my everything. You know, so it's it's a great honour. Well, Unlo, uh, best of luck Sunday. Thanks very much for your time and congratulations on the nominations. Hopefully, we'll see you there in Vegas in July. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very much. Thanks. Uh, this one or the, the, this one?